Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Kaufman, and we're about to go beyond the terminus. Much of the endodontist workload is associated with retreatment of previously treated cases. Depending upon the particular practice, retreatment can account for 40 or 50 percent or more of an endodontist workload. Because of this, removal of previously placed endo filling material is an integral part of the retreatment process. There are basically two philosophies employed to remove previously placed endodontic filling materials. In the case of gutta percha, you can try to use a heat carrier to remove the bulk of the gutta percha and then use a rotary instrument designed specifically for this purpose or a solvent technique or a combination. I've never been a big fan of the rotary nickel titanium instrument method because of the stress it places on the instrument. There's a high potential for breakage and I'm already facing obstruction of the canal by the previous filling material. I don't need to make it worse by breaking a file in the canal. Regardless of which method you use, there are occasionally going to be gutta percha remnants in the canal that need to be removed. Some years ago, I came across an instrument that made this process much easier. Instead of trying to negotiate pre-curved hand files in the deeper portions of the canal, the gutta percha removal instrument is a terrific alternative. It allows for good visibility as well as access to the filling materials deep in the canal. It's become an important part of my armamentarium and I wanted to discuss it with you today. Once it's been determined that a case requires retreatment, access is made through the existing restoration and the orifice is located. One of the quickest ways to remove the bulk of the material is by using small sized Gates Glidden drills used conservatively only on the gutta percha filling material and not engaging the dentin. At that point, I prefer to use a solvent, either chloroform or oil of orange to flood the orifice and attempt to work a fan hand file toward the apex. Canal anatomy being what it is, even after cleaning and shaping and removal of all the existing filling material, there are often areas of fins and irregularities along the sidewalls of the ribbon-shaped canals that continue to have gutta percha in them. The gutta percha removal instrument is essentially a very long endodontic explorer whose tip is bent back on itself, creating a tiny hook at the end. The hook is very effective at engaging gutta percha remnants inside the canal and along any fins or irregularities. It's like a DG16 endodontic explorer and that it's angled similarly. It comes in lengths of 18 and 30 millimeters. The instrument comes in two orientations. The tips of each of the two instruments are different one being mesiodistal in angulation, and one being buccolingual. It's sometimes necessary to alternate between the instruments to remove all the remaining gutta percha from 360 degrees of all of the walls of the previously treated canal. They also have the advantage of being extremely easy to bend, so they can conform to curved canals and then rebent as necessary. They are sterilized using standard hand instrumentation protocol. In cases where, from the radiographic appearance or clinical appearance, I suspect lateral condensation technique has been used, I will forego the use of solvents, especially when the cones are not tightly packed into the canal. Instead, I will attempt to remove the individual gutta percha cones by first creating a small pilot space in the filling material with a hand file and then hooking this instrument into the, each of the individual cones and removing them one at a time. Sometimes several will be removed at one time. In order to use this instrument effectively in the deeper portions of the canal, you must be able to see into these canals. Because the instrument is quite long, it penetrates very far into the canal space and can snag most materials visible in my surgical operating microscope. The canal is then cleaned, shaped, and a final check of the canal is made with this instrument and the surgical operating microscope. These instruments are not inexpensive. Repeated aggressive use can sometimes break the hooked portion off of the tip, which renders the instrument useless and replacement of the instrument will be necessary at that point. Care should be used when placing these instruments up against the fins of the canals. The idea is to engage the gutta percha, not the canal wall. It's also extremely good for removing things such as loosely packed pulp stones, cotton pellets, restorative materials, and other debris that may have fallen into the prepared canals during treatment. Gutta percha removal instruments are available through various retailers and should be part of the armamentarium of clinicians who retreat endodontic cases routinely. Remember, when we do the right thing, both of us get better, patients and clinicians. Thanks for listening. 
Join me the next time when we take another trip beyond the terminus. See you then.